Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a passion of mine, which is all things hair care. You'll hear me say that quite often because my other big passion is for hair care and really optimizing fine thinning hair or uh, any sort of type of topic around helping optimize the amount of hair you have and hair loss being I've gone through that. Now, I'm really passionate about the things, of course, naturally, which I have been through. So that is why uh, skincare for me uh, is uh, a really passion because, of course, I truly do feel that if you look good in your skin and in your hair, whether you're a man or a woman, then you can put your best self forward in every situation. And it really does just boost your confidence and it makes you feel on top of the world and you're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody else. So it really does uh, hold the power, I believe, of giving you that confidence, really boosting your well-being and just making you feel good about yourself. Now, for me, skincare uh, really did become quite a paramount issue uh, in the last couple of years. Uh, I say the last couple of years, probably even longer than that. Um, been very blessed with skincare. I have to admit, um, I have good skin, but I have quite reactive skin to stress and when I'm unwell. Now, I don't mean in terms of breakouts or anything like that at all. Um, I'm one of a twin and both my twin brother and I growing up, we didn't suffer with acne. We didn't have sort of spots, pimples, whatever you want to call it. We didn't have anything like that at all uh, for a very early age. And I'm not saying this is, I think many people can go through that. Some people quite fortunately don't go through that. Um, for me and my brother, it was installed in us from a very early age, uh, the importance of good skin care and looking after our skin and moisturizing uh, and cleansing. Um, but as I, I've got older and unfortunately I've gone through different health issues and operations and things, I can absolutely really tell that my skin sometimes is so reactive. Sometimes it can be really quite uh, uncomfortable. It can be really quite tight. It can be dry. It can almost give me like eczema uh, sort of type symptoms. Um, and it can just be really uncomfortable and it can really affect my confidence and how I feel. Um, so where to start really? So the big area for me, which we're going to be talking about today, is around the eyes. So throughout my later 20s, mid 20s, later 20s to now, I'm now 30 years of age, um, I deal with quite a number of different health issues. It doesn't ever define me. It doesn't stop me. However, when I look in the mirror and I haven't slept very, very well for a, a good couple of days or if I haven't slept at all or if I'm feeling really quite uh, washed out or if I'm feeling a little bit unwell, but I don't want the rest of the world to see it. And of course, just kind of pausing there, I appreciate there are a lot of men's products out there with colouring and sort of additives and I don't like the term men's makeup, but some people will use that. Some men will find that that's okay for them. For me, that's never an option. It's just something I've never wanted to go to. But the one thing I really do like using is an anti-fatigue under eye serum. Now, I've used a number of these, but some of them I find really don't work at all. Um, the big issue for me is darkness around the eyes and it can really look as though almost you've got um you've been hit in the eye uh for me when i've been unwell for a couple of when i've been unwell for a couple of days or whatever particularly after a couple of my surgeries my face particularly my eye area really just did give away what I've been going through. And you know what? That's okay. But sometimes when you just want to feel your best version of yourself and you want to be defined by the person you are, not by what you're going through, I found that this product is amazing. Now, I wouldn't say it was amazing straight off, okay, because this sat in my drawer for quite a long time before um, I really started to see some of the benefits of this. So I think with any eye product, just be super careful. At the end of the day, it's your eye. So be really, really careful. Don't put anything too close to your eye and just be really, really careful of how much you use. So this product, okay, let's talk about it. Revolution Man Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Serum. Let's tell you a little bit about what it says on the packaging. Okay, so nice, simple, straightforward box. I buy this in Boots here in the UK. Revolution Man Anti-Fatigue Under Eye Serum Brightening, reduces dark circles, reduces fine lines. Okay, it's 15 mils and um, it on the box here it tells you how, when and why. So apply a thin layer to the skin under the eyes using the morning and night. Azorbic acid, pure vitamin C, a strong antioxidant that will reduce dark circles and brighten tired eyes. 
Hyaluronic salt binds to moisture in the skin for a hydrated and smooth appearance. Try peptides for a smooth and fresh skin appearance. Okay, so that's what it says on here. So straight away, it's brightening, reduces dark circles and fine lines. So what I use it for, of course I'm 30 now, so the prevention of fine lines would be absolutely great. I do find with this product, it does give you a bit of a tightening effect, but I want to go into that in just a moment. Um, it does reduce uh, dark circles and the brightening effect. Now, we mentioned about health, but of course there are a number of reasons why somebody may become a little bit sort of darker under the eye. Um, or for example, it can if you haven't slept well, if you get puffy eyes, if you work at nights and you're having to sleep throughout the day, um, perhaps you're going through something, perhaps it's the, uh, the change in time from a holiday and you notice that you travel often and you can really see the effects in your face. Or it could be for work, or it could just be that you're going through a real damn difficult time and yet you want something just to boost your skin and I know I've been through all of that um, and particularly health, uh, bereavement, losing somebody who's my absolute world, all of those things. Um, I like to always look my best. I feel confident when I look my best. I don't do it for anybody. Um, I do it for myself because that is who I am. Um, this product, as I say, when I first started using it, um, I'll, I'll show you the product why. When I first started using it, I thought, oh, damn, I've ripped myself off here because I'm just going to put a little bit on my finger here and you can just see it's orange. So straight away I thought, oh, it's got colour to it. I don't want anything like that. And I get for some men that might be absolutely fine. For me, I, I don't like products like that at all. I'm quite a traditionalist at heart. It's absolutely fine. I've got nothing against it. I like using good skincare products and for my hair, but um, for me, sort of products like that, just, just no, not at all. Um, so when I use this, I thought, oh damn, I really did, I did, really didn't want that. It wasn't until then I thought that I'd give it a try, actually, when I've just done exactly what I've done now, rubbed it on my hand and there wasn't nothing. And it was really smooth in texture. And I thought, okay. So I went back to using it and just of course, under the eye area. So whenever I use this, I use a very small amount under the eye area, and sometimes I take it just up above the eye because I can get quite puffy eyes and this can get quite dark. You'll note from my hands, they're quite, I don't know if you can see on the camera here at the moment, they're quite sore. So my skin can be quite reactive anyway. Just stress, it can be quite sensitive to time, at times as well. Certainly after having any uh, bouts of ill health or long-term health issues, this, is a horrible sort of issue which I get really dry skin patches. Today we're talking about the eyes of course and under here this gets really really dark. So for me this is a product which straight away brightens the eye, it really gives energy to the eye and it's almost like you use this five minutes later you're awake and it's almost like yes you may have been awake for hours, you may not have even slept all night, you may be feeling quite run down, your skin may look how you feel but this product boosts energy it really does give you that brightening effect that awakening effect it's around the 10 pounds mark okay i have i paid less than that i've paid more than that but it's always around the 10 pounds mark and i find that sometimes it can be quite difficult to get hold of and other times it's everywhere so it's all online um but i know that amazon sell it as well i know here in the uk boots sell that too and i know a lot of other places online sell that which specialize in products uh sort of skincare products that type of that type of thing. Um, so it can certainly be readily found. Um, now, approach this one with caution, all right, because I'm just going to show you what I do. So again, what we've just seen there, so a small amount, that is actually too much from what I use. So I just put some on this hand here. And then literally what I do is I take it under the eye and you'll see straight away, there's a bit of a, like a, a color to it, but there isn't. Okay. Um, and straight away, what I do is I just back and forth my eye just a couple of times and you'll see straight away because we're massaging this area and we're using a product it brings the blood flow to the surface you're stimulating the skin so it goes a little bit red don't worry that soon disappears let's just do the opposite on the opposite side and then what I do okay just back and forth for a little bit just so we're stimulating the skin we're bringing that blood flow to the surface the uh, the ingredients in the serum which we're using has an opportunity to work and then I don't suggest you do this straight away but I do this just up around the eye as well and then just in the corner note that I'm not doing it directly to my eye I'm just doing it around here okay where those darker areas and then as we're talking okay you'll note that that will die down quite quickly you'll see that this is died down almost immediately so what you feel is a real cooling effect uh, a soothing effect but awakening you can really feel the skin being stimulated and that awakening sort of like that your eyes are becoming sort of it's 
no longer morning, it's afternoon, it's lunchtime. You're more switched on, with, you can really, really feel it in your skin. I don't know about you, but straight away I can feel that Yes, okay, there's a little bit of shine, but it does look as though the skin's really nicely looked after. It's hydrated, it's boosted, it looks awake. The darkness you can see ever so slightly is a little bit lifted as well, especially if I show you the corner of my eye too. Um, I don't top this up throughout the day. I use this, and I don't use it every day. In the morning, okay, when I've washed my, when I've cleansed my skin after I've shaved and everything uh, around the eye, and for me, I can tell the difference when I'm having a bad day because I do have different health problems in the background or if I've not slept very good for a couple of days or if I haven't slept at all particularly well or if I'm going through something or I'm a bit stressed at work and then I'm going to work the following day or I've had a real stressful day that I note in the morning I see the effects around my eyes. This really does almost just literally put the energy back into the skin. It awakes the skin. It calms everything down and it just makes me feel how I envision myself how I want to come across. Do you know what I mean? Um, I get that some men might be happy and comfortable using sort of, I hate that term, but makeup products and things like that. And of course, there's lots of men's ranges out there now. But for me, that's not what I want. I don't want something to cover it. I want something which is going to stimulate and help the skin, um, boost the skin, energize the skin, and calm down what's actually there. Um, so those great ingredients which we talked about in here, they really do moisturize the eye. They really do uh, boost energy. They invigorate the eye. And of course, you've got some great ingredients there, which really does get to work. And as we're talking, you can really see. Now I say just approach with caution because when I first started using this, if you're not used to a product, now I think the ingredient, I think the reason was because it has caffeine in here. I think I've seen that, I've mentioned it here. So it's fragrance free. So I forgot that I didn't mention that. Um, let me just double check. I'm sure I read that there is a might have been looking it might have been looking at one i know there is an ingredient in here anyway i'm just going to read you the message on here and it says discontinue use if irritation occurs avoid contact with eyes now there is something which i read in here and it's just typical isn't it that we're recording and i can't find it but i'm just going to take a moment so do bear with me there was something in it it's something like like a menthol type product which you get the cooling aspect from doesn't help that I haven't got my glasses on. But anyway, we can just generalize what we're talking about here. Um, so the product is really, really good. What I found when I first started using it is, is that perhaps I was using it too much and under my eye area became a little bit dry and it, and it kind of exacerbated if I had um, halfway through the day, uh, it sort of made my eye look a little bit crepey under the skin underneath. So I got a really bit annoyed, really quite annoyed with the product and I left it for a couple of days and then I went back to it um, because I just found that perhaps that it was a little bit too strong. So just approach it with caution because I did have an element of irritation there. And there was part of me which thought, you know what, I'm not gonna use it again. I really don't wanna be playing with things like this which could cause agitation uh, to my eyes. Um, but it was very quick to me that it was almost like that I'd used a little bit too much and it dried the eye area out. So I left it and I've never had that problem again. But I think there is like a caffeine in here. Um, please don't quote me on that if I've got it wrong, because as I say, I do look at all different um, products, but I have a feeling that it was something like that or a menthol type product, which is awakening, stimulating for the skin um, to boost energy and boost that awakening, brightening look. But I did find that there was something in there which did give me a little bit of a... Uh, an agitation, not extreme, but it was almost like that it dried my eye area out. Um, so I left it for a couple of days, just used my normal moisturizer and it went away. It didn't really cause me any discomfort or any problems at all, but I could just visually see it. So I left it for a couple of days, then I went back to it. I've never had the problem again. So whether or not it was a little bit of sensitivity, I'm not too sure, but please do just approach that with caution. But ultimately, uh, very happily recommend this. And now it says, just touch on that last point here, reducing fine lines. Of course, I'm 30. I don't like. I I don't have lines. I don't. I don't believe. Um, of course, expression lines sometimes. Um, but around my eye area, it is soothing. It is uh, energizing, and it is. I believe a bit of a tightening effect. You can really feel. So if that's your concern, then this would be really great for you as well. On that note, I really do hope that this one's been useful uh, for you. This clip, of course. Thank you very much for your company, as ever. Thank you so much for your comments on all of my clips. If you do want to ask anything at all, please leave the comments down below. I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quick as I can. And on that note, I really do recommend this one. 
okay? Um, and if you do have anything, as I say, please leave them down below, and I'll do my utmost best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you very much for uh, joining me on this one, and until next time, God bless, and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.